Hi guys, so today I am bringing you a ColourPop review slash a lip swatch video and I have never done any kind of video like this before so I thought maybe try it out. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. So today I have nine lippy sticks to show you guys and also I have two ultra matte lip colors to show you guys as well. Before I start this video, I just wanted to tell you guys that this video is not sponsored. I know you guys have been getting very mad at me because you guys get really sensitive about sponsored videos and I really don't see the problem. But this video is not sponsored for those of you who are very, very sensitive. So I'm first going to start off with the lightest shade, which is called Addict, and this is a cream consistency. So it is kind of hard to apply. I have applied this one before. <laughs> like on and I personally did not know that it was going to be this light in person. I knew that it was going to be light, I just didn't think that it was going to be super pale like this and I could probably say that you could put on like a dark brown lip liner with this and then just blend it all together and it would look really nice. So for this one I would say that it's better for a fair skin tone because as for me it's just not working but I will try it with a lip liner and I will update you guys later on with it. <laughs> Next up is also a cream and this one is in the shade Polywog and it's kind of like a brown color and I'm really excited for this one because it is just beautiful. I haven't applied it on my lips yet so this is kind of like a first impression so I'm just going to try and this one is also like a cream just like the last one so this might be a little hard to apply. Um, let's just try it out. shade poly walk and it kind of makes your teeth look a little bit yellow I haven't whitened my teeth so I know that it's not that my teeth are yellow but this one is kind of like a I would say a cooler shade brown kind of has some blue undertones and so this does make your teeth look a little bit yellow if you guys don't mind that then it should be a big deal but I would say this one is also very hard to apply since it is a cream I feel like the creams are very slippery and not as pigmented as the other ones such as a matte so um, I really do like the color even though it does make my teeth look a little bit yellow and I don't know I also think that this would look much better with a lip liner because I'm just so used to using lip liner and it just makes everything more structured but overall the color is very pretty. Next up this is the second color that I actually tried on for this video so this one is in the shade cookie and I actually wore it yesterday it is such a beautiful color I honestly love this color so much it's in the matte form so this one is going to be very easy to apply as I experienced yesterday. I love it so much I just have nothing else to say but it is just like such a perfect brownish pink nude color for an everyday look it's just beautiful and I honestly say that this is my favorite so far. On to the next this is a brownish pink color this is in the color Brink and it is also a matte so this should be very easy to apply as well. This is Brink and it's in a matte shade. It's a very nice one for an everyday look if you want to look a little bit more daring than usual because my comfort zone is honestly cookie how I showed you guys earlier. It's more of a nudie pink brown but this one is a little bit deeper. So now we're transitioning into more of the pink tone so this one is Westy and this is also a matte. I'm really loving the matte so far, so I have really high expectations for this one here. This is Westy. This is also a matte, like I mentioned earlier. This looks really nice with a neutral eye like now, but except with some winged liner. And this could be a pop of color if you guys are comfortable with that or if you want to experiment with some new colors. So this one's really nice. It's a pink color with a blue undertone. So this one might make your teeth look a little bit yellow, but... It's a really nice color, so I really like it. Next is a hyper glossy formula, and this one is in the shade Cupid. It is maybe kind of similar to the cream consistency. I'm really hoping that it's not because the two creams really disappointed me. But this one is a hyper glossy, so maybe it shouldn't be as bad. <laughs> Sadly, I'm really disappointed in this one as well. It's just as bad as the cream one. So I would say that if you are looking into um, good, nice, easy application, I would say for you to not go with hyper glossy or cream consistencies by ColourPop. But if you do want to have a nice, smooth consistency to place on your lips like super fast, 
you should definitely go with a matte and that's what I'm experiencing so far. And also I really don't like this color, it's a little bit way too light for me. And I'm not the biggest fan of a glossy finish, but I thought that maybe these would maybe take me back into the glossy side, but I'm actually being kind of disappointed with these colors. This one is in the shade Cake and this is a satin finish. I haven't tried any of the satin ones, so let's just hope that this one is not a bad consistency because I really have some high hopes with this beautiful color here. Okay, this is in the shade Cake and it is a satin finish. But I really do like how easy this one was to apply and this is a satin finish so it's not matte but it feels like matte and it's really similar to matte so I really don't see the satin finish but I really do like it because it's super close to matte so this is a really nice application and I do like the color but like I said I'm more used to wearing a lip liner so this will look really nice with a peachy lip liner and I'm super excited to wear this. This is a cream formula and the color is Fiesta. So that was a cream formula and that is in the shade Fiesta and this one isn't as bad. I feel like the cream ones are kind of worse once you get to like the lighter paler shades and this one is definitely not pale. It's kind of like a bright corally pink. So this one was not too bad. I mean I did have to blend it out with my finger a lot. And this is the last lippy stick and I'm really excited for this one because it's a bright reddish orange color. This is in the shade Yasmin and it's a matte so this one is very, very exciting. So I'm really happy with this one. It was super easy to apply. Um, in, like in terms of the consistency, but it, excuse my horrible application. It was just like my hand was being like all over the place, but the application as in it not being slippery and stuff, it was really nice and um, I really like it. And I actually wanted to do a tutorial including this lip, so if you guys would like that, then definitely thumbs up this video and let me know. So once again, that was in the shade Yasmin, and now moving on to the two ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Colors. So these are the ultra matte lips and this one is in the shade donut so I went crazy when I saw this one I was like I need to get this but um, when I was on the website these sell out super fast both of these all of these products actually sell super fast except for the eyeshadows I mean those don't sell out too fast <laughs> putting on this lip color and it is already dry it's either because I have a fan right there or because it's just it just dries that fast again this is in the shade donut and it is a super ultimate matte lip color and I'm actually loving it I mean your lips do feel a little dry but it's nothing that makes you feel like your lips are crusting off but um, I really like this color I'll just zoom in for you guys so you guys can see a little bit closer this is actually the perfect definition of the color coral. I love it. It is a beautiful color. That's all I can say about it. Again, I'm very impressed with it and I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. This is the color I really do enjoy. It's really nice for an everyday look. If you do want to wear it on an everyday basis, like you don't have to worry about reapplying because this will literally stay on. Like For example, I have water right here. Still intact. So that's the end of my video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and thought that it was a little bit more informative and kind of helped you guys out if you guys were thinking on buying some of these ColourPop products, I would say that I really, really recommend the mattes and also the ultra mattes. Those are my favorite ones out of all of them. From my experience, I would say stay away from the hyper glosses and also the creams because it just does not apply very well. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.